What would be your last meal on Earth be? It's not entirely something you can decide, especially when you don't know when the last is going to be. However, there are people who knew exactly what they're going to eat for the very last time. Welcome to the Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss the strangest last meal requests on death row that you should know about. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to access more of our videos. We all know that the bestest can serve you a platter filled with everything you have yet to find out. Death Row is something that has existed for a long period of time. Countries all over the world continue to argue on whether or not the death penalty is something that should either be brought back or not. I hope it does. I hope it hurts like hell. But what makes the death penalty interesting are the ones who were put on the death row. They're given the chance to choose their last meal, and we're telling you, there are a lot of strange meal requests that'll come. And today, the bestest will highlight some of the strangest last meal requests on death row. And you should know what these are. At number one, we have Victor Harry Fegger. He was tried and convicted of murder in federal court for his crimes and was sentenced to death by hanging. However, he submitted an appeal, but was later on denied. Back then, only President John F. Kennedy could have commuted the death sentence. But Iowa's then-governor, Harold Hughes, along with Victor's attorney, contacted the then-president to request clemency for Victor. Kennedy thought that the crime was so brutal that he denied their request. Now for his last meal, he requested a single olive with the pit in it. Strange, isn't it? The last meal sure was strange, but interesting. It's probably one of the world's simplest meals. But could you even call that a meal? There's probably a lot of choices we'd be thinking if we are to eat our last meal. Don't you agree? Stay with us until the end to see what other strange last meal requests were ever made. Let's move on and get on back to the list. At number two, we have Gerald Lee Mitchell. This inmate probably had the sugar rush of his life because of his last meal. Gerald was only 18 years old when the court found him guilty of his crimes. He killed a man during a drug deal and also managed to claim a second victim during an argument over a necklace. Locked and serving his time in prison for 14 years, all he could do was wait for the final moments on death row. And this was when the sugar rush began. All he wanted as a last meal was an assorted bag of Jolly Ranchers. Gerald finished the entire bag before he faced the final curtain. At number three, we have Eileen Ronas. She is more popularly known as America's first female serial killer. Eileen Ronas, being different from the rest of the ones on death row, made an unusual request with regards to her last meal. She requested a beverage before taking her last breath in 2002. However, this wasn't an alcoholic beverage, but just a single cup of black coffee. That was all she wanted. It seemed like she didn't even want to die without getting that fresh cup of joe. Hey, does anybody want coffee? Who wants coffee? I just made a fresh pot of coffee. Does anybody want coffee? At number four, we have James Edward Smith. Like everyone in this episode, James made a strange last meal request. He was given the death sentence when he fatally shot a man during an armed robbery in Texas in 1983. And when it was his time for his sentence, he asked for his last meal, which was a lump of soil. What? Who would have thought that someone would want a lump of soil as their last meal? People even speculated that he wanted to eat on the dirt. Some thought that he was planning a voodoo ritual. But to his dismay, a lump of soil isn't allowed by prison regulations. The authority denied the request and served him a cup of yogurt instead. So now, a cup of yogurt is equal to a lump of soil? Well, 
That's good to know. Okay. Everything that's bound to feel like the last thing you'll ever have something leaves a certain kind of nostalgia into it. It's the same way as how father and daughter dances work on weddings or even the Last Supper. However, there are still a few disputes over the death penalty. And unlike the ones on death row, you'll never know what happens next. Treating every meal like the last isn't such a bad idea at all. It'll help get a little bit of closure and less regrets that way. After all, we never know how things would work out. But this episode isn't over yet. We have a few more in store for you, so stay until the end to know what other strange last meal requests were ever recorded. Up next is not only interesting, but also maybe a bit shocking. At number 5, we have Velma Barfield. She is the infamous death row granny. Velma managed to conduct a lethal string of deliberate poisonings, and these cases were even dubbed as mysterious. This sweet grandmother, or should we say, scary grandmother, who was behind the deaths of almost everyone in her life, was the first woman put to death in the U.S. in 22 years when she was executed by lethal injection in 1982. And like everyone on death row, she was granted one last meal. You'd have thought that a grandmother like Velma would want a nice cup of tea with a small finger food or pastries, but this grandma was different. All she asked for was a packet of cheese doodles and a can of Coke. Maybe killing six people adds fizz in life. At number six, we have Teresa Lewis. This inmate's last meal isn't at all strange. It isn't until you look at her request as a whole. So Teresa became the first woman to be executed by lethal injection in Virginia in almost a century. She pleaded guilty to conspiring in the murders of her stepson and husband. You'd think female power was all the rage, till you remember they are killers. But anyways, she ordered a fairly traditional Last Supper. This supper included fried chicken, sweet peas with butter, Dr. Pepper, and a German chocolate cake for dessert. It's a weird combination for a three-course meal, but hey, it's Teresa's last meal. There might be a lot of history behind the meals chosen by the mentioned inmates. Some just chose their last meals for fun, while others may have chosen it as a way to repent or maybe even a way to go out the way they want to. And since we're almost done with this episode, the last one is bound to give you a few ideas on how you'd handle your own death. Now, let's move on to the last inmate on our episode. At number 7, we have John Spankelink. Everyone who's on the death row has always made food a priority. Well, that's everyone except John Spankelink. He was convicted of one account of murder and armed robbery, and was put to death row in Florida State Prison in 1979. And when asked for his last meal request, he denied any special food. Instead, he asked for a single flask of Jack Daniels instead. What made things even more interesting was he had his last drink with the prison superintendent. He became the last person to ever ask for alcohol as part of Florida's last meal provisions, since it was revised to exclude alcohol altogether after his death. But going out while drunk isn't such a bad idea, especially when you're on death row. Uh. What happened last night? Am I missing a tooth? Oh. <laughs> we had a very interesting line of inmates in this episode, right? These meals had their own sense of creativity and identity too. And that is what makes these last meal requests both strange and amazing. Imagine if a millennial would be placed on death row. What kind of last meal would that millennial ask for? And for everyone who stayed until the end, what last meal request piqued your interest the most? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.